Which you guys got a quick review of the Western Digital My Passbook Ultra. This is a 3.0 USB drive. It's also got auto backup and cloud backup. Uh, it's a three year limited warranty on this and also an amazing two terabyte powered by USB. Pretty awesome. I'll be uh, putting this USB 3.0 up against uh, a 2.0 and do some speed tests. It's PC ready, does some auto backup and it's got some security on it which is some encryption software. Let's get it out of the box and take a quick look before we do some tests. So here we have our uh, device and our cable. This is the actual USB cable here. It's a very short cable they've put in here, uh, but this does actually power the device. You can tell it's a USB 3.0 cable because of the blue color there. It also has more pin configuration underneath the uh, adapter there, as you can see. But this is the actual uh, connector that goes into the device itself. Now this does fully power the USB uh, portable device there. This is the pouch that they put in there. They seem to put those in all the time. And this is the actual device itself, very tiny. They do it in many different colors. And as you can see, it's totally portable and fits in my hand very small there, as you can see. Uh, it's very lightweight. And this is where you put the connector in, in the back. Now we're gonna power this up and then we're gonna test it and set it all up against the USB 2.0. Okay, so now we've got our Western Digital Passport Ultra plugged into our computer and uh, we're going to do a test for speed difference between 3.0 and 2.0 and also we'll have a look at some of the software that comes with the Western Digital Passport. So let's have a look first at where we can get our uh, software. Once you've got your hardware plugged into your computer, you can come to the website of Western Digitals and uh, what you want to do is come to your version this is the ultra compact version and to get your software so you can use the auto and cloud backup system you want to come down to the bottom where it says product support once you get there you'll be able to get all your downloads for your passport ultra as you can see here firmware uh, SES driver and so on if you want to get your smartware update for windows this is where you'll get it you've got your user manual here also you've got your drive and utilities for Windows and whatnot. So if you want to get this, you just click on there. And this will give you your uh, software so you can set it up. Okay, now I've already downloaded this. So what I'm going to do here is just quickly install that onto the system. It's 30 megs in size, as you can see. So I'll just quickly install this. Okay, so that's now what? installed. I'm going to accept that change there. That's just on my software to protect. Now this will open up the uh, Western Digital Smartware software. And here we have, we need to create our um, email address and stuff inside here. We can skip this if we wish for now. But as you can see here, we've got our computer and we've also got our passport here. We've got Dropbox and so on. We can set this all up as we wish, okay? So we're just gonna go next here. And uh, category backup, as you can see, you can set up a category backup or a file backup okay now whatever you want to do so if you can see here recommended for users that plan to automatically uh, categorize backups for pictures music movies and so on and this one here just allows you to select specific uh, files uh, and then once you've done that you just click on this so continuous backup will uh, constantly back up throughout the day when any changes are made to files and whatnot and it will automatically back them up to your drive. Now, if you put schedule backup, what that's gonna do is uh, schedule uh, back that up on a schedule basis, either hourly, daily, monthly, and you can pick your days and times here, okay? And that's basically what that does. So if you wanna do continuous, this is the one you want. You would have to leave the drive plugged in, obviously, and then what you do next is go next, and then it will tell you, basically, it's gonna categorize your files and then start categorizing them to move them across okay 
so you can skip back up for now okay so that's basically how you set that up and that's the sort of software that comes with it now I wanted to do some speed tests for the differences between 2.0 and 3.0 so first off let me just open up a uh, crystal disk here so we can open this up now we can select our drive here so this one G drive let me just quickly open this up so we've got our G drive which is a, a 2.0 uh, drive it's a USB thumb drive and then this H drive is going to be our passport drive now I've sped this process up by quite a bit so you don't have to hang around okay so we'll copy these results so we'll just go to edit and copy and we'll open up our uh, notepad here and we'll paste those in there okay so this one's for the um, USB 2.0 so what we're going to do now is change the location to the uh, my passport and we'll do the same thing again didn't want to bore you so I sped this process up for you and that's the test results complete we'll just quickly copy these and I'll post these down below here and I think you already can see the differences here there's a massive difference with USB uh, 3.0 compared to 2.0 the speed difference is uh, much more as you can see here so let me just uh, close this off and we'll do one final test we'll copy this file across this is a 1.62 gigabyte file video file and we're going to copy that across to both locations so let's quickly open up um, our uh, drives here we've got our 2.0 drive and our my passport so I'm just going to quickly right click and copy this file and we're going to paste it across to that location so the first one we'll do is the 2.0 drive I'm going to quickly paste that across and we'll see how long that takes and again this took quite some time so I've really sped it up for you okay that was complete and I speeded that process up as you can see there it took quite a while to do so what we're going to do next is try it on the passport here but you can already see the speed here and I'm not even speeding this process up I don't need to because the speed of it is so quick and the difference here is the speed of the uh, megabytes per second done So that's basically the differences between a USB 2.0 and a 3.0 uh, hard drive. As you can see there, the speed difference is massive. And also that will speed up any transfer of data across that drive. Now also, uh, one thing to mention is the USB uh, 3.0 uh, My Passport uh, Ultra comes with um, no power lead. You don't need none of that stuff. It works all on its own without any... Um, power brick or anything like that which is a nice touch and it's the biggest drive you can get that actually does work off a of USB power um, so that's what that was running off of USB power to a two terabyte drive which is pretty awesome now obviously there is some other things that you're going to need to make sure that your computer does support USB uh, 3.0 okay now if you, you don't know that you'll have to go to your manufacturer's website and check your motherboard to make sure that it does support that they should have a little blue um, marking them to actually tell you that it supports USB 3 okay now you may have that already if you've got a custom case you may have those on the front of your case um, but if the motherboard doesn't support it then you aren't going to get the benefit of USB 3.0 okay just bear that in mind anyway I think that's going to be about it I think that wraps it up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos then hit the like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos so I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, thanks again for your support, guys. Bye for now.